What's that, Kobe? I have to make a harness for the magnetometer before I close out the tail skins. Okay, give me 10. Good. Happy October Fest, Bill. Okay, just another short day and a half home from airline training. So I thought I'd update you on the little progress that I've had. I've got the fuselage, belly skin, tail cone up on the table. And you can see I've got the stringers laid out. About a bazillion and one holes to prep. The good news is I've only got to go back to airline training for about three days, finish off my procedures validation in a kind of quasi simulator, just getting my flows and call outs done. And then back here for five days. So I thought initially, ooh, I'm maybe gonna attach the tail cone to the cage, but that's pipe dream, dude. I gotta attach the bulkheads. And then we've got to put the skins on the side of the fuselage, kind of build that whole thing. Um, and then a ton of test fitting and getting the angles just right on the, on the cage. So that's probably gonna be a couple weeks away, but hopefully it'll be contained in this video. I'm back after a couple days in Seattle. Um, I have got a good five day break, so I am gonna try to charge on this. And it's time to flip it. I say you'll flip you. Flip you for real. Onto some sawhorses to rivet it. But I will note a couple things. You gotta be very careful not to rivet station three to four support angle. But then also, this is a fairly critical distance right here. And all it says in the directions is a quarter inch from the hole. Now. A quarter inch from the edge of the hole, a quarter inch from the middle of the hole. It's a quarter inch from the middle of the hole right there. Because if you, if you leave too much there, it's gonna come into contact with uh, other things on the cage. time lapse to be frustrated at my riveter. It keeps jamming. I keep cleaning it. It is the cleanest riveter around. I I'm suspecting that the lubricant that I'm using is a little bit too thick. And so the mandrels are kind of getting stuck inside. So my fault, I'll try to find a better, more viscous, less viscous, more flowy lubricant to have this jam left often, but keep it clean. It is clean. I will keep it clean. This is the lubricant I've been using. Maybe it's too thick, I don't know. But I'm not gonna lubricate it this time. Maybe I'm over, over lubricating it. Back to riveting. Okay, stringers are done. Now to the laundrons. Whew, that's done. Now it's time to put on the bulkheads. Now the bulkhead's on, it's time to start messing with the side skins. The way they ship is they're two identical parts. And so you're essentially gonna have to flip one over to work on the inside of the skin. So just pick one, flip it over. Longerons. I've also cut, deburred, degreased, cleaned, and primed the Longerons. So let's get them installed on these skins and on the fuselage. Oh, 
normal, man. This feels good. All right, let's get this on the table. Happy Oktoberfest, Bill. We've got both skins on, bulkheads riveted, bottom lingerie on riveted. We're saving the top lingerie on for the top skin. Now, working on the magnetometer mount. Here's the magnetometer. Andrea is working on match drilling the station 10 to station 11 closeout. Yeah. Template. Oh, nice. The template right there. How'd you get that? Um, I just put it on top of the piece and then I lined it all up and made a oh. Drew the, tape drew, the, drew the edge around here so it's exactly where it needs to be. Okay. Yeah, we're going to just transfer Joe that way. Okay, so we size these to 40 and we'll upsize them later. We'll take any kind of slop out of it and then I think what we'll do is this is not installed this way. This goes underneath the plate. But we'll click on this so it's all sized correctly and then we can just match drill down that way. And then upsize to finish. That's a good plan. planning on getting done, thanks to Andrea. She's a little bit camera size, so I didn't um, feature her too much, her face at least too much in the videos, but thanks a lot to her for all her help, man. She made super quick work out of match drilling that station 10, 11 close. I was kind of intimidated, but no problem for her. She's a jeweler, welder. She's got amazing technical skills. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thanks a lot for watching. Back to Seattle tomorrow and then a bunch more progress here this fall. I just wanna say again, as always, thanks for watching. I sure appreciate you being here. Until next time, you're clear to rent.